let's do some practice and I'm gonna we're gonna practice some of the same things but you're gonna be better at them this time because you're more familiar with it it's when you practice it means you do the same things over and over again until you get good at them you know don't try and think oh well, I'll do something more and different because that's a bit you know naff actually you just grow by practicing the basics so let's spend a couple of minutes praying in tongues out loud and while you're praying in tongues out loud if there's anything that comes into your mind about things you need to confess things you need to deal with for the day any burdens you're carrying right now we want to be coming into the presence of God so we're going to cast everything on him so a couple of minutes doing that and then we'll pray in tongues on the inside like last time remember prayed in tongues on the outside it loud and then we prayed in tongues on the inside in our mind or in our belly if you can do it in your belly it's great because um, you don't have to clog up your brain with with the stuff that's coming out but while you're doing that we'll just look at Jesus close your eyes and picture looking at Jesus and if you struggle looking at Jesus there's a picture of him there so we'll do the first bit first so let's just pray in tongues Bless you, Lord. Oriando rosso ma catarindi arama arindi ma shori ticata iti arandariando rosso mama arindi sharando rokoti shama catarindi ma arindi sharando roma mama ki arandariando rosso ma catarindi aroma iarando rosso ma catiara mama iarando rosso mama cutisciando roma mama Yarindi shando roma mama katarondo rosho mama mama kiarindi arando riando roma matri sharando roma mama kayarando rosho makati arindi shiando rando riando roma makata shiando roma mama kati arindi ma orando roma yes okay now let's just pray in tongues on the inside and while you're doing that look at the screen or just close your eyes and just picture Jesus just look into his eyes look into his face while you're praying in tongues on the inside Okay, so was that any easier this time? Okay. See, what you're, what you're doing in these exercises is learning to do more than one thing at the same time because that's what we're looking to develop, a lifestyle where we can hear the flow of the Spirit at any time, at any point in time. So right now I can be speaking to you, but inside I can be praying in tongues and by praying in tongues I can be receiving a flow of revelation in which to speak or I can be say you're on a train or you're in somewhere and you can't pray in tongues out loud actually you can be praying in tongues on the inside but also you can be thinking and meditating 
So you can be thinking of a scripture, you can be thinking of Jesus or a picture. You, so you can do things all the time at the same. So ultimately, what you can be doing is praying in tongues from, from your belly, which doesn't form words in your mind or sort of in your mouth. Because that's what you tend to do to start with. You're almost like you're trying not to say it out loud. So you're trying to keep it in your head, which is okay. But once you get practice, you can get that bubbling up from your very innermost being so that in your mind, you can be seeing, picturing and thinking while praying in tongues. So you can get the flow of thoughts and continue your spirit being built up because your spirit is being edified while you're praying in tongues so you can tune in easier. And it's just learning to practice doing these things. You see, when first God spoke to me you know, praying in tongues, you know, it was like, I, I used to do it now and again. And then I was, the Holy Spirit started to convict me about praying in tongues more often. And, and God spoke to me and said, I want you to pray in tongues for 15 minutes. And it was like, oh, 15 minutes sounded like eternity. Because it was like, because what I was doing was trying not to think of anything and pray in tongues. I just didn't get the point that you're actually supposed to pray in tongues while doing other stuff. So I could have been reading the Bible. I could have been, but I was just trying to pray in tongues without trying to do anything else. And, and it was just like really frustrating. And 15 minutes was like a long, long time, you know. And then actually the first time God spoke and said, I want you to pray in tongues for an hour. It was like, oh my word, an hour. How can I personally pray in tongues for an hour? But after a couple of days of like basically being obedient, then God, so I had one of those Homer Simpson moments. It was a do. <laughs> yeah. Because God spoke and sort of said, What are you trying to do? Tongues is supposed to, so you can engage with me, not stop anything else. You're supposed to be able to do these other things at the same time. And then it was just such a breakthrough that then I could just do all this stuff. Now I pray in tongues all the time. You know, if I'm sat at my desk working stuff, I just pray in tongues. You know, because I might as well be doing something positive to join me and get a flow of the Spirit. And so you can learn to engage the presence of God all the time. It's called practicing the presence of God. Recentering ourselves back, thinking about God when we've drifted off into other things. And actually, tongues helps you do it. And even if it's like, okay, I'm going to pray in tongues for a minute every hour. You set your watch with a little beep and it so goes beep, right, I'm going to pray in tongues for now. I'm going to think, you know, and you can bring that down to actually every two minutes I'm thinking about God. And your whole life can then be a flow of the presence of God. And God will enable you to do things like your normal everyday activities and be engaged with him at the same time. And that's what we want. We want to be completely engaged with him, but completely able to do the best we possibly can with everything we do. And that's what God enables us to actually do. Now, last time we did this little exercise as well. Now, uh, I want to, to go through the same thing. So we're going to pray in tongues and on the inside and listen to Psalm 23. But um, you'll, you'll just have to listen. It's fine. You just listen to it because I'll, I'll read it out. But while you're doing it, just start to picture Psalm 23. You know, and it may be you just get to the first bit like the Lord is my shepherd it may be you get to the bit I'm lying down in green pastures that's the bit I love I just like lying down in green pastures with Jesus and just chilling out with him by quiet waters it may be that you see the table set before you in the presence of your enemies and you start eating stuff who knows but just start to picture and then as we go from that point I went then to go once once the bit about Psalm 23 is stopped, I want you to then start to converse with Jesus. He's sitting with you in that meadow and you can talk to him. So there is a bit of a cliche picture of him, but if you don't know what he looks like as a shepherd, that might be a good thing to look at. But then ask Jesus a question, okay? Anything that you, you want to know. Don't don't ask him, are we going to marry all that sort of stuff? Because this is, we want to learn just to engage with him. But ask him how he feels about you. Ask him to show you how much he loves you. Ask him to give you a revelation of a scripture or something. So then get your notepad and then just start to write the things that start to flow. 
because that's all you do. Don't analyze it, don't think about it, just write. Now, I know some of you struggled with this a bit last time, so let's just separate, close your eyes and just start to picture it. Did anyone hear a flow of things to write down? Okay, anyone struggle? Yeah, okay. Now, do you find it easier to see things rather than hear things? 
See, when, when we struggle to, to hear a flow of things, you may get impressions and you may get feelings rather than words. Just write them down. You know, see, some of it is just learning to engage. And you know, I've practiced this a lot. So for me, it's really easy. I ask a question and I write down the answers. I don't think about what I'm writing. I just write down the answer. Then afterwards, go back and look at it. When you're learning, actually, most of the time when we're learning, it's like we're not sure. And quite often it's like, well, am I hearing anything? Or what is what I'm hearing? Just me making it up. And you'll get those little things that come and try and distract you. Um, if you can't hear anything at all, and when you're do doing that exercise, try and think of a scripture. So ask God to show you a scripture to speak to you. Because it's all about practicing hearing. And some of us find it easier to hear in different ways. Okay? If you, if you come into the presence of God, like you're coming to the shepherd, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me. The side, quiet, still, quiet, green pastures, green waters, whatever it is, quiet waters. And then what happens? He restores my soul. So, absolutely, you're, you need to expect your soul to find restoration. And so tears, emotions are part of the process of restoring our soul. And, you know, tr when, when that happens, ask him, okay, God, what, what are you doing? So the question you ask, ask him, well, what are you doing? Are you healing me? Whatever. And just see what he says. You know, actually, if you don't, you don't need to know. I mean, it's like sometimes we like to know everything because we, we want to know. But actually, sometimes it's just like go with the flow of the emotions and then enter in because it's like it's a restorative pr process. Sometimes we just need to let things go. And God may be touching an air of hurt or something and restoring it, you know, but yeah, go, go with the flow of it. But it's good because you're connecting, you know, emotions are good things to connect with God. He wants us to feel. We should feel loved and accepted. You know, if we don't feel loved and accepted, then actually, we're not actually feeling loved and accepted. We're supposed to feel it. It's, it's okay to feel, you know, and uh, you know, God wants us to experience these things so that we're not just knowing stuff in our head but we're encountering him with body motions everything